everyone, this is Lily Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing an automatic writing from the ancestors, guides, angels, um, all of those light workers that are around us, those entities that help us. And um, this is for the DM and the DF. So we will see what all uh, guides are trying to tell us right now. So this will be a message for the week to see um, what you need to be working on and what you need to focus on. So, so far for the DM energies, we're going to have it in uh, this purple color. So it means that they really want the DM to work on anything that is spiritual, uh, the awakening and stuff like that. And uh, for the DF, it seems like they want her to work on communication, uh, all about stability and um, taking care of herself, that throat chakra. And this is the crown chakra here. All right, so let's see what the message is for the DM this week. And I maybe will pull some Oracle cards in here to see what extra messages they want to give us. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, all right, so this is a message from the, for the DM that I wrote out in one go. So we'll see if this method is um, something that you guys like. But for a short message like this, I can do it in one go and um, just read out the message for you all. Okay, so the message is, you're fighting for your life right now, and I know it's hard. You've put a lot of effort, and I'm really proud of you for what you're trying to get done. You're a lion inside but the karmic made you feel like you were a rabbit. You know 
that you're here for a purpose, the purpose of enlightenment and awakening and justice. This is what you signed up for, to make sure that all human beings are treated equally and that everyone knows we are essentially all the same underneath our bodily images. I am here to guide you, my son. Special blessings from M. So let me know who you think M is for you if you are a DM. Um, it seems like someone who is there to protect the DM, to guide the DM. Uh, feels like it can be an ancestor, a guide, um, maybe a grandparent, someone who has passed on, who is special to you. Let me know. So I will just put a few cards, um, an oracle card here for the DM to see if they want to guide us further. And I'll do the wisdom uh, not the wisdom of the oracle. This one is from Denise Lin, and this is Sacred Traveler. And um, also, I'll do a miracles now. As actually, I'm gonna actually change. The guides are telling me to take one from this deck right here. This deck that I'm um, checking out. Okay. All right. So we have these two cards right here. So I'm trying um, the Sacred Tra Traveler. So the Sacred Traveler is telling the DM. You are exactly where you need to be. Right now, you are exactly where you need to be. Before, you were veering off on a different path. You've come back to the right path. And it seems like you should have been here a long time ago. We don't care. Once you get here, we'll accept it. And so this is why the guides are back with you, uh, trying to help you as much as possible. And they are there to guide you. So they will be... Um, giving you messages and helping you to stay on your path. So you are where you're supposed to be right now. So uh, let us see what um, confirmation we have from this card right here, which is a tin twin flame journey perspective card. And it says separation time. So this makes a lot of sense. So it seems like the DM is in separation here. And um, they are saying this is where he is supposed to be separated from the karmic. Okay. Just like the most perfect mango lassi requires the perfect ripened mango and culture of yogurt. Best quality mangoes requires the time to ripe naturally just as yogurt to culture. So it's basically a card about patience. It's a card about separation. It's a card about taking your time. So they are saying here, just like yogurt takes its time to culture, you have to allow the DM to take his time to get back on the right path, get his feet um on the ground, get his grounding together and um, basically give him that time that he needs so that um, he can feel comfortable in his own uh, body, mind, spirit so that he can come forward to you. So the DM here, uh, we're saying, even though you are in separation, this is exactly where you need to be right now. Do not worry. Trust the universe. Okay. All right. So let us go on to the DF. And I just realized that I wrote DM here for the DF. So this means something. Usually when I make mistakes like this, it usually means something. So I feel that it means here that the DF is in some sort of masculine energy this week. All right. So the DF is feeling some sort of masculine energy, a lot of yang energy in her life this week. So it could be a lot of, um, you know, a little bit of aggressivity, a little bit of uh, uh, that push testosterone level is high, maybe a little bit of uh, more adrenaline a little bit uh, more uh, violent, in a little bit uh, more um, conflictual. So maybe this can show up in your um, in your week, in your life, things that you're doing. You might not be taking um, uh, any push back from anyone uh, like you used to, and uh, so you, you're in this uh, this kind of energy where you're not taking any BS from people. Okay. So um, it seems like this is what your week is going to be like. A little bit aggressive, but you need this aggressive energy sometimes so that you can get things done. Uh, the only thing to watch out about this energy is to make sure that you're not going to um, fall into some serious conflict or into some um, accident or anything, anything like this um, along the way. Because sometimes this kind of energy can bring um, some sort of uh, uh, negative aspects to it. But if you're careful it can actually help you to get uh, all the things that you need done and it can help you uh, to be more motivated, all right? Okay, so let's dive into the DF's message now. 
cut off from the DM. Okay, so this message, I wrote it out in one uh, go as well, just to see uh, this style of automatic writing. And as you can see that my pen faded out here and then I had to take another one and then this one was a bit too thick. So all of this means some things when you are doing the automatic writings, okay? So um, basically uh, the light blue, so we said it was about communication and stability and all of that. So it seems like uh, we lost a bit of communication here. And then it started back with a more strong communication and a more higher vibration because of the color change. All right. So it's still all about the throat chakra and the third eye chakra as well. And it's signed C. So let me give you the message. You've been asking me for the reason why I left you alone for so long. I understand that you had lost some of your faith here. I have put people on your path to guide you and to point you towards a companion who will appreciate you and who will protect you. Please stop the worry and anxiety because I am here for you and know exactly what you need. I've heard your prayer and this is what you need to learn here. Signed, C. Okay, so I feel that this message is from a guide, uh, ancestor or some, um, one, some loved one that has passed. They're saying they know that you're looking for someone to be in a serious relationship with someone who would respect you, someone who loves you, someone who would give you all that energy and that spiritual uh, food that you need. Uh, they have sent you on this twin flame journey and um, you're thinking about your twin, you're thinking about your soulmate, you're thinking about all these potential guys, um, all of these options, right? And you keep saying that prayer. Why? Why have you left me for so long alone? I don't deserve this. I deserve someone to be with me, to share my life with. And they're saying, look, we have heard you. Don't worry, trust in the universe. And this is part of your lesson on this twin flame journey. They are saying, trust in the universe because we are going to bring you that person um, that is right for you, that you need, even though it might not be your twin flame right now. We, we're sending people on your path so that you can learn different lessons. And um, we are going to take care of you no matter what. So trust in us, trust your intuition. And um, this is going to be taken care of. 
So keep saying those prayers. All right, so let's get some guidance for the DF here. Okay, sacred destiny. All right, passion and pleasure. So basically almost the same thing here. They are saying savor your life. Save a life. Every single uh, moment, every um, little conversation that you can have with someone, every moment of the sunlight or the snow, whatever season you are in right now in your country, savor every moment of nature and every single day that you get that's extra because some people don't have those days. Some people are on um, their uh, deathbed right now. So since you have a chance to live um, another day, just honor that day, give thanks and say, um, be grateful because um, even though you're not in the ideal situation right now, there are a lot of things that you need to be grateful for. Okay, and they're saying, just don't worry about this whole relationship situation. We are taking care of it. All right, let's do a little um, twin flame journey perspective on this one. Wow, you see exactly what they were trying to tell you. They're saying there is divine timing. Just be patient. Just like genuine diamonds have high value, can never be replaced by lab-grown diamond. It is the formation time that gives the high value and the rareness. So they have, they, basically they're saying, whatever you asked for, and you asked for someone who is um, of quality, spiritually, um, in their soul, uh, in their mind, grounded, all of these things that you asked for in a DM or you asked for in a soulmate, they are preparing it. And because you, they want to bring you this quality person, you need to be patient, okay? So in divine timing, everything will fall into place. And we have the number five right here, 415 which means rebirth, okay? So everything is coming uh, soon. The lesson here is to learn to trust. All right, so this was a nice reading for you guys uh, for the weekend. I'm going to bring uh, one tomorrow normally. And um, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll bring you more. Love and light. Take care.